binary fission. Transverse binary fission. When favorable conditions are present, paramecium shows transverse or horizontal binary fission, which is at right angles to the longitudinal axis of body. Initially, paramecium stops feeding and its oral groove and buccal structures begin to disappear. Later on, on the micronucleus start dividing by the mitosis. The nuclear membrane remaining unbroken. Micronucleus first increases slightly in size. This is followed by separation apart of chromatids and elongation of micronucleus. By the last stage, micronucleus become very much elongated and its two ends become organized into two daughter micronuclei. The daughter micronuclei then separate simultaneously. The micronucleus divides amitotically by simply becoming elongated and constricted in the middle. Oral grooves now begin to form one in the interior half and second in the posterior half. Original contractile vacuoles remain one in each half of the dividing parent individual. Two new contractile vacuoles are formed later on. Two new buccal structures also appear. In the meantime, a constriction furrow appears near the middle of body. It depends and ultimately a cytoplasm is completely divided at the most into two daughter paramecia. Of the two daughter paramecia, the interior one is called proter and the posterior is called opisthe.